Hey guys, Ajax22 here, working away on that Browning Auto 5. Uh, got it completely apart, or almost completely apart. Still have a couple of pins in the receiver that need to be driven out, and I need to get a proper pin punch to do that. Uh, as you can see, uh, Grace USA's screwdriver showed up from Midway, um, and man, were these ever worth the 30-some bucks. Um, they fit the screw slots perfectly. They, they required almost no force to get them out. Um, I mean, it's, it's really impressive considering the number of screwdriver bits and, you know, full-size screwdrivers by a couple of fairly decent manufacturers and, you know, obviously the Winchesters that sucked. Um, yeah, it, it just, those, it, these screws ate those screwdrivers. But the Grace USA blades just, there's no damage to them, there's no scuffs, scrapes, nothing. They just worked perfectly in the very first time and every time. Um, never been this happy with a uh, gunsmithing tool purchase before. Um, these are going to be around for a while and I would not hesitate to, to pick up another Browning to work on just because of these screwdrivers. They're, they're that good. Um, I'll actually put a link to the Midway um, site where you can buy them. I don't do that. It's uh, it's worth having. Anyway, um, got this thing just about completely apart. The internals are pretty rough. Um, as you can see, it's uh, about the same condition as the exterior used to be in. It's kind of a testament testament to the. Uh, the quality of the design that it was able to work even with the amount of schmutz that it's got uh, built up in there um, yeah really impressive how these Brownings it just came apart like a factory gun like factory fresh and there's there's very few wear surfaces that are showing any anything um, you know um, there's a the lifter assembly is actually in the electrolysis bath right now. I'm going to be spending quite a bit of time running this gun one piece at a time through the electrolysis. Um, the internals, I think, already have a, a little bit of it broken up, um, but there was no mechanical agitation to them, so they need to be run independently and then uh, hit with a uh, scouring pad and just see what how much of that, that oxide and flake comes off. I don't think there's going to be any surprises or problems. Um, kind of curious as to how that, that gold winds up cleaning up. Um, not really a big fan of gold, and it'll probably get stripped off with the uh, the blast before the parkerizing anyway, so um, I don't expect it to stick around. But the uh, it would be kind of interesting to see just how well it held up against the corrosion. The barrel is going to need to be cleaned out. I need to get a set of... Uh, brushes for for cleaning stuff. I don't know what happened to all my gun cleaning gear. Guess it just sort of walked off over the years. I was I was out of uh out of free America for a while living in New York City and all my guns were in storage. So in that process um you know some some of the accessories, you know, you move, stuff gets misplaced, give it away, whatever. Um, I'm short on cleaning supplies, so I'm going to have to order some to, to scrub that bore out. Uh, the receiver I'm probably going to do last um, of the internals. It's very, very scummy and uh, got a lot of schmutz. I'm going to have to get a some sort of, a, 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 I guess, a sterret punch, dry those pins out so I can get the internals freed up and get it really clean. Um, yeah, I still have the shell cut off to remove. The, the big spring on the side, and then the, uh, I guess that's the bolt release. Um, beyond that, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Got uh, quite a bit of barrel work to do. Had the uh, Thompson wood for the forend on order. Um, and uh, should have uh, some, some copper that I'm going to use. I think I have a an idea for doing the, the, the spacer and front end using some uh, 1.25 inch copper M pipe um, that might work. 
if it doesn't, then I'll I'll do something else. But also got to gonna have to track down a big block of brass. Gonna need it to be about uh, you know five to seven inches long by an uh, inch and a half wide by about three inches tall. Um, that way I can have something to you know index the uh, the, the the Thompson grip off of and to mount to. Um, probably going to be a decent amount of machine work going into that. Uh, I also have some uh, buttstock plates, I guess they would be, from uh, old muzzle loading guns that I'm going to try to fit to the sawed off stock when we do the whippet. Um, that's on order. I, I need to get a jeweler's file um, or a jeweler's uh, coping saw to do the, the brass work for the, for the wrist on this gun. And, um, yeah, got to order the brass. Quite a bit of work to do. Uh, but it all starts with the electrolysis and getting the gun functional. Um, and it's, it's very nearly there. So as I'm tracking down the stuff, we'll be, doing the, we'll be doing the electrolysis. I'll try to keep you guys posted as things come in and as parts are, are completed. It might be a, a little dull, but, uh, you know, this is, this is a very... Uh, involved and time-consuming process that uh, we got to go through. It's not all just uh, taking it to the range and, and putting rounds through it in a high-speed camera, but uh, we do get to do that too eventually. That's, uh, that's the fun part. Anyway, came apart. Grace USA. These screwdrivers are a knuckle saver and, uh, you know, I, I had to have burned 20 bucks worth of other screwdrivers. Um, managed to get one screw out for all my troubles and you know chewed up one one and a half screw heads basically um, should have just bought the 30 some dollar set of screwdrivers would have made life so much easier anyway that's where we're at and uh, I'll keep you guys posted thanks